We are live. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Let's see who is here tonight waiting for that count to pop. So far it says zero. <laughs> I know you're there. Come to me. Come to me. I can see you. There we go. Hello, everyone. It is a VP auction night. I hope you are ready. It's been so gloomy and rainy here in Virginia. Just the perfect night for an auction where we can all cuddle up together and enjoy the vintage. Let's see who the first commenter of tonight is. It goes to Kim Hanna. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim, and hello to Marie. Happy Easter. Yes, everyone. It's going to be Easter this weekend, in case you didn't know it. Be very exciting. Good evening, Jill. Good to see you. Hello, Daniel, and hello, Mr. Skins. Hey, Michael. It's rainy in, in South Carolina, too. I know. Hello, Anita and my Cassandra. They are ready to rock and roll. Booney June is here. Hello. Kim is here, and I know I've said hello to Marie, but there's, you know, there's, you can always pet twice. Hello, they are ready to shop. Pamela's here. Jonathan is here. Hello, Jonathan. I am always so thrilled to see you. Crystal is here. Hello. Let's see, Cassandra is sending her, spe her special meows back to Marie and Mr. Skins. Happy Wednesday to you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. There's the VP Calico Diva. They are ready to party. Mother sends her hellos to everyone. Thank y'all so much for those continued prayers and cards. They mean so much. Let's see. There is, can I say it right? Is it the Okay, is it Kayla Drum? Kayla Drummer? Okay. I am so sorry if I have butchered your name. I appreciate that you are here. Hello. It's Stacy. It is Stacy. How thank you, Stacy, for revealing yourself. I will remember, I promise. Eventually, I will remember. All right. New phone issue. Oh no, but thank you. Thank you for persevering. Let's see. It's na it's nasty everywhere. What is going on? Hello, Crystal. Good to see you, girl. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Shake. We're already shake, rattling and rolling. Let's see. They're saying howdy to Christy and my baby Gracie, my furry, my furry child. Lots of love to mama. Jason is here. Hello, Jason. Hello, James. Good to see you. Oh, Chico and Zoe say hello to. Let's see. I'm petting Zoe. <laughs> And I'm rubbing Chico's nose. <laughs> sweet, sweet babies. All right, Stacy saying hello. See, I'm getting good. I already remembered. Stormy's here. Hello, Janet is here. Happy Easter to you. Good evening, Chris. I hope the rain will not affect our Spectrum Internet tonight. So cross your fingers. So far, so good. And Kiki is here. Hello, hey to you. Let's see. Christy's saying hello to Janet. Joanne is here. Hello. Happy Easter to everyone. Okay. Good to see you. Now, I, yeah, so far so good. So I hope y'all have had a great day. It's going to be an even better night. I'm sorry for the lack of a lot of preview pictures. I'm going to be honest right now. I had a migraine last night. And halfway into this day, I am feeling much better now. The show must go on. If if I felt too bad, don't. It's okay. I I I could be a big girl, but I'd rather be here with you. I'd rather be here with you, and you all always make me feel better. So that's that's my excuse for my poor advertising. <laughs> but I am feeling much better. I am feeling much better now. All right. Let's see. Reese, Teresa is here. Hello. Elizabeth is here. And Daniel is saying hey to Christy and Mama. Let's get to it. It's the weather. It is the weather because all, all of, you know, any kind of barometer change, my sinuses are going to tell you. Hello, Terry is here. Good, 
Good evening. Happy Wednesday to you. All right, let's get to it, folks. For those of you who are new, welcome. It's going to be a great night. Tonight's sale is going to be auction style. I will hold up an item, tell you everything you need to know about it. And all I ask is that you bid within $1 increments in the comment section. When the bidding comes to a lull, I will do a countdown from 10 to zero. During that time, you want to put forth your best bid, your highest offer, and make sure that you come in before that bid end comment. The official bid ender of the night is my sister, Christy, which is represented by the VP Calico Diva. Christy, could you greet the audience one more time for us? That's right, Kim. I always suffer during this time. Hey, Tammy. Christy, the VP Calico Diva, there she is. Hey, so far so good, folks. So you want to be the highest bid before that bid ender comment. All right, let's do a test uh, lag check. How about that? Are we ready? Oh, no, Daniel. Let's do a lag check. I'm going to count from 10 to 0. Feel free during this time to just all donations are welcome. Here we go. 10. <laughs> I started to go 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. Five, six, seven. Oh, thank you. Eight. Okay, that was eight. That was on eight seconds for me. Thank you, Daniel. All right, thank you all. I, I see you, um, Cindy, Kim, Stormy, Elizabeth, Terry, and Alicia. Hello, hello. All right, I think we're pretty good to go. I'm sure Christy will go out, come back in. Make sure that you are in live chat mode. You do not want to be in top chat. Make sure you are in live chat. Every time you go out, you're gonna have to reset that. I know it's a nuisance. They didn't ask me. <laughs> so make sure you're in live chat or also you could drag that red line all the way to the end. But especially when you are interested in an item, make sure that you are caught up to speed. I don't want you to miss anything. Too much good stuff tonight. All right. Hello, Candy and Tracy and Leslie. Thank you so much. Did you all receive your reminder text? Did you get your reminder text tonight? Hello, Colleen. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to join the party. You need to text JOIN to 833-249-1859. And that way I can send you a, a reminder. Hopefully you don't need one by now, but just in case life gets busy and we'll remind you of the auction on Wednesday night. Also, anytime I might, I might get a wild hair and, and decide to go live, okay? So make sure. Make sure Jonathan got his text. Thank you, Stacy and Elizabeth. Wonderful. Brittany, hello, girl. There's Cindy. Daniel got his. Very good. Pamela, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Booney got hers. Are we ready? We're located in Smithfield, Virginia. Local pickup and shipping are available. Please understand the cost to ship will be in addition to your highest bid uh, win. All right, we do not charge for shipping, for the actual handling, but we'd have to charge for the shipping, okay? Here we go, here we go. Let's start the night off with some medals. How stinking adorable. Already 59 people here, thank you so much. We do this every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here we go, folks. I have a set of adorable made in India brass fish. This is our largest fish. Thank you, Anita. Thank you. You are on the ball. Here is the middle fish. 
and the baby fish. They all have their little hangers on the back. They are ready to go. They have normal marks of character that brass would have. As you can see on this little baby, there is one little spot just from, you know, being brass, that little green spot over the years. It might even clean up. We're going to start the bid at 15 and go. You are getting all three. You are getting a school of fish. All three fish. So much fun. Hello, Bus and Move is here. We're looking for a $15 start on the vintage wall art brass fish. For those of you ha that have your water themed mermaid fun bathrooms, looking for a $15 start on the brass fish. The largest fish, he is approximately seven and a half seven and a half inches from the top of his little fin to the bottom fin. Thank you for your bids. Michael was first at 15. Crystal's coming in at 16. So seven and a half inches for the largest fish. And then the little baby. And I believe this is the complete set. The little baby is four and a half. Okay, so from seven and a half to four and a half, and I would describe them in all good vintage patina for um, your brass. There is the middle fish. Crystal is at 16, looking for 17. Folks, think of brass. Think of how much your brass animals go for, and you are getting three. You are getting three fish. Are we ready for the countdown? Get your bids in. Here we go on the brass fish. You get all three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, they are heavy, two, one, looking for the bid end on the little family of brass fish. Are they angel fish? I think they could be. Here we go. Let's see who gets it. Looking for that bid end. There it is. Beautiful. Worked out beautiful. Thank you so much. The winner is Michael Hill with his bid of 19. Thank you so much. Thank you both for your bids. Now, don't forget folks, uh, I have to always take your highest bid. You can outbid yourself, okay? All right, next up, let's do, is it too early? Let's do all these beautiful, okay? This is going to be choice. This is the larger. I believe this to be Fenton. It doesn't have a sticker, but that means it would just be before the 1971 when it had stickers. Beautiful Rose Bowl. No chips or cracks. The bidding starts at 15 for this beautiful milk glass hobnail Rose Bowl. But guess what? I have two. I have two. So if you want to create a beautiful springtime, summertime mantle or your tablescape, they're slightly different, of course, because they're, you know, made, individually made, but they are the same size. Absolutely, Fenton Daniel says, we're looking for a $15 start. Highest bid gets to take the option of one or two absolutely beautiful. You normally see them much smaller than this. Let's see. They are approximately five and a half inches tall. Five and a half inches tall. And we have a diameter of six and a quarter. A diameter of six and a quarter. They are beautiful. Think of your spring and summer displays you can do with this. I heard somebody, I heard some, not that, but I heard somebody recently say that 
milk glass was going to make a major comeback. Honey, it never went out of style. <laughs> it never went out here at Vintage Potential, but they referred to milk glass as being the new Ironstone. Hello, hello, Leslie, good to see you. Thank you all for your bids, Candy. I see you, Janet, I see you, I see you, Brooke. Okay, Daniel saying this is between the years of 1954 to 1970. Thank you, Kent. Remember, you are bidding on one. You are bidding on one, totally worth it. You get the option of getting two times your money. Candy is at 20. Candy is at 20, looking for 21 or better. You get the option of one or both. They are both in beautiful condition. They are thick. They have some weight to them. Lovely, lovely hobnail. It's just a classic, has never gone out of style. Let's do the countdown. Now remember, highest bidder gets the option of one or two. It would make a beautiful display on a mantle or a table. And if you're local, you can pick it up and have it just in time for your Easter table. Miss Shirley, Shirley Robinson is at 22, looking for 23. 22, looking for 23. The hobnails on here are nice and round. Nice round hobnail. All right, let's count her down. 10, this is for one, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end on a Fenton Milk Glass Rose Bowl. Fenton Milk Glass Rose Bowl. This is for one. This is for one. Looking for that bid end. There it is. Congratulations goes to Miss Shirley Robinson with her bid of 20. For Miss Shirley, would you like one or two? That would be two times your money. Just let me know. One or two. And then hold tight, everybody. We'll see if Shirley takes one or two. One or two. I hope y'all can't hear Daddy jabbering on the phone. Let me know. All right, Shirley takes one. Thank you so much, Shirley. Let me put Shirley's aside. Now, because they are identical in the item, we're going to stick with the $24 bid. Miss uh, Candy, Candy, would you like this for $24? Would you like this one for $24? We can get a chance and make two people happy. Miss Candy, for $24. Four dollars. Would you like this beautiful Fenton piece? He's going to drive me crazy. Thank you, Candy. Congratulations. You also get one. Excuse me while I yell. Could you shut the door, please? Thank you. Okay, next. <laughs> That's all I could hear. Okay, let's do choice of a pinup. It's all right, everybody. It's not, it's not bad at all. We're talking like 1940s, 1950s. Okay, this is going to be choice of a true magazine pinup. True Magazine pinup. Now, this was the back side. You're so welcome. Thank you. This is the back side of the centerfold. Yes, that's what they used to be called. Back side of the centerfold. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Uh, we look like we're singing around a campfire, having a good time. I wish I had this in time. On the back, we have Miss, I guess she could be... Um, um, yeah, Mar well, no, no, she's St. Patrick. Look at Miss St. Patrick. There she is in all of her glory. It's nothing too bad at all. Now, please know 
that she does have some deterioration at the top of this page. Because of this, I am starting these at $10, just $10. This is going to be choice, but I am telling you, there is deterioration at the top of her page. And I don't know why they designed them like this, but the color is so rich on the back side, it has slightly faded to the front. So, Miss Leprechaun is your first choice, or we can have, I'm gonna call her Miss Daffodil. Miss Daffodil looking for a $10 start. There she is looking in her hat filled with daffodils talking on the phone all the way down to her cute little shoe. Again, we have the same situation with the paper. It does have some slight deterioration and we have a scene on the back just like the other one. Hello, Belinda, welcome. So $10 start, $10 start for choice of a vintage pinup. I think they are tasteful. Choice of a, ten, a vintage pinup. Whether you want to scan this imagery or I think you could get away with framing and matting over that top part. Love the daffodils. She even has a daffodil in her hair. $10 start and go. This is for choice of a vintage pinup. Choice of a vintage pinup as is. These were done, I think, in the 30s or 40s, but somewhere between the 30s and 50s by True Magazine. True Magazine. All right, I'm not seeing any interest in these pretty ladies right now. We will put them in the recap round again. All I'm asking is for a $10 start. $10 start for vintage pinups. Okay, dokie, who wants to go next? Is it too early for uranium? Never, never, never. Let me get my light ready, folks. I have a beautiful sugar and creamer set. Here is our creamer. This is an overall good condition. It, you can see the hazel atlas mark in the bottom of it. it. does have some scratches. You can see normal everyday wear. But look, it also has the sugar with the lid. Sugar, you never see this lid, folks. I would tell you one, there is one little chip right here, right there, for, ugh, forgive the nails. One little chip, it gets covered up when you put the lid on it. Other than that, beautiful, beautiful set, $29 start, $29 start. Please ask me, does it glow? Please, $29 start. <laughs> $29 start and go. These things light up like a tree. They light up like a Christmas tree. Please remember the sugar does have that little nick in the rim. Honestly, doesn't bother me. It barely affects the profile. And it's got the lid. Thank you for your bid. Storm is coming in hot on Jason's heels. We're looking for 30, yes. Yes, Tracy, it does. It surely does. All right, Nikki Mari, hello. She's coming in at 30. You're getting the sugar and the creamer. Normal wear from age and use. The only thing is that little nick on the sugar. Little nick on the sugar. Beautiful glows like crazy. You are getting the Hazel Atlas sugar and creamer. Hazel Atlas Sugar and Creamer, 30 looking for 31. 30 looking for 31. Beautiful. 30 looking for 31 or better. Here we go. Make sure you refresh. Make sure you drag that red line all the way to the end and that you are in live chat mode. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to turn my candles on. 10, 9, 8, 7, you're getting both, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Looking for the bid in. Looking for the bid in on these gorgeous uranium green depression sugar and creamer. Let's see who got it. Okay, there is the bid end. Thank you all for your bids. Congratulations goes to Jason Camper with his bid of 37. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you all. All right, very good. Okay, what shall we do next? Okay, as a photographer, you know I love this stuff. I adopt and save everyone. Now, the only thing I know, these are loose pages. They are loose pages out of an old album. Oh, James says, yay. He did it all by himself. He did so good. Very cool pictures. The only thing I can tell you is they came from a Wakefield estate. I don't know any names, but that is the bit of information I can tell you. They came from a Wakefield estate that is local to this area. I'm going to start these loose pages and I'm going to include a vintage photograph album. It does have some creases in the cover, but it's never been used. And I thought maybe somebody could, you know, paste them in this album and save them. We're going to start the lot at $24. Okay, so you're going to get that vintage album to go with it. But look at some of these pictures. I mean, look at that. Hold on. Can we see it? Look at the little boy with his basket looking for a $24 start. I just thought these pictures were fascinating. Look at the man and his dog. Look at the bench. Okay, just very, and it's front and back, front and back. Folks, just think that these pictures could be the only proof that a person ever existed. I mean, that's why photographs are so important. Oh, these are nice. Look at this. Look at the vehicles. Looking for a $24 start. You don't have to be related to people, folks, to appreciate and want to respect these people. Now, this is a naughty child. Naughty, naughty child. I do not support this behavior in this picture. But we have a little boy being a little boy with a kitty cat. Let's see. Let's look. $24 start. Looking for a $24 start. Oh, look at the wagon. Look at the wagon. Look at the wheels on that wagon. Great, great memories. $24 start. Just the album, folks. Just getting the album. One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're getting at least seven complete pages. And then we have some little extras like that. Look at this. Look at the chair. Oh, Lord. Okay. Look at the chair. Isn't, I mean, he's got it going on. Look at the pose. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Here's somebody in the bed. I hope he's okay. Good, good pictures here, folks. And they, I mean, they're good quality. I like this one. The man's sitting back. He looks like he's sitting in a, um, What's the name of that chair? It's a wooden chair. It's not a Morris, is it? If you know, you know. But very interesting pictures. Looking for just a $24 start. $24 start. I'm not seeing any interest. It's from Wakefield. They came from a Wakefield estate. A Wakefield estate. And I'm just asking a $24 start. $24 start and you'll get the album too if you want to put them in um, to save them and put them in a little book again keep them all intact and together that's a sweet picture 
Okay, then we have some scenes. I don't know where we are here in these pictures. All right, just a $24 start for all of that history. And the, um, and the green album, love the color. I thought it made a great lot. The album is empty. It does have the black pages. There are some creases to the front of the album. So Wakefield Estate, $24 start. I do not know the names of the people. $24. We'll put them in the recap. Alrighty then. Moving right along. What shall we do? How about some jewelry? How about some fun pins? We're going to start the bid at eight dollars starting the bid at eight dollars this is a silver in color i know it might look gold silver in color little poodle with the enamel painted bows and green eyes or we have the silver in color owl very cute with those green eyes oh i hear you tracy i hear you here's the kitty cat i know what you're talking about <laughs> We have this fun little kitty cat. He is gold in color with the wiggly articulated tail. So looking for an $8 start, looking for an $8 start on the pins, on the owl, poodle, or kitty cat pin. Thank you, Jonathan. I like the cat the way his tail wiggles. Thank you, Leslie Hardesty, for your bid of eight. Looking for nine, eight looking for nine on the animal and bird themed pins we love our owls don't we jonathan we're at eight looking for nine this is for choice of a pin eight looking for nine let's count them down get your bids in we have a lot of good stuff to go folks no glow there is no glow here we go ten nine eight seven this one's a monet the owl is six five four the poodle is something too i can't see it at the moment three two and one looking for the bid end looking for the bid end on choice of a pin There is the bid end. Leslie, congratulations. Which one would you like? I have an idea, but you could surprise me. Let me know, Leslie, which pin or pins you would like for $10 each. And then it will go to Miss Booney June. Let's see. She takes the poodle. Thank you. All right, Miss Booney June, were you interested in the Silver Owl or the Golden Kitty Cat? Booney takes the owl. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that quick response. Okay, was anyone else playing? I don't think so. So we just started these at only $8. Do I have any interest in the little Golden Kitty Cat with the wiggly tail? for eight dollars if so just type in cat just type in cat if you are interested okay moving right along all right folks this is going to be your warning i'm not going to do these at the moment we'll do one more item belinda it is yours thank you so much all right, we're going to add that star Hura stash. We'll do these in just a little bit, folks. These will be coming up for those of you who have me on mute. <laughs> pay attention. Pay attention. The metal mid-century kitties are coming up. They are coming up. Oh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Oops. Did I do it again? Belinda. 
Belinda, I am so sorry. Miss Anita, Miss Anita, she just appeared out of nowhere. Belinda, you hold tight and I, would you, you just like that it was a kitty cat? If you would message me, I'm gonna find you another kitty cat pin, okay? Anita, are you sure you're okay? I can find either one of you a kitty cat pin. <laughs> so, Anita, are you okay? Are you okay to leave it like it is? Anita, give me one more, it's fine. Give me one more, it's fine, to confirm. What did I do? There it is. All righty. Next up is an item that my sister and I, not this item, we used to play with this all the time. Okay, Belinda, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Anita, thank you. All right. Oh, I used to play with my grandmother's little cast iron stove like this all the time. How cute is this? I cannot confirm the age of this. It does, it looks mighty good. It looks mighty good. It has a little bit of rust on the backside in the stove pipe and underneath it, but I think it's ready to go. Look, it has all of your little stove, um, what shall we call these? The little stove tops are all there. We have a little frying pan, a pot, a coal bucket, another bucket. It's just wonderful. $24 start. The screws in it are like straight. They're not, um, shoot. Now I'm going to show myself. Phillips. Phillips, is that the one that goes like this? Don't scream at me. But anyway, the screw is straight in it. So normally that would say that it was a um, an older one, but I'm not sure. It looks so clean. So it's just a wonderful little piece, nostalgic piece. We're calling these pieces hot plates. It does bear the queen name on it. Great memories. $24 start if there is any interest in the little cast iron stove. $24 start. Little flat, oh, you're talking about the screws, okay. <laughs> Flathead, that's so simple, wasn't it, Melanie? A flathead screwdriver, so simple, yet was so hard. $24 start on the adorable stove. I'm trying to hold it and not flip it. Think of your imagination. Oh, all of the fun times we used to have playing with this. Thank you, Ellen, for your bit of 24, looking for 25. All of the good times. Happy Easter, Sherry. I'm so glad you're here. So the door open and closes and you've got all, you have four accessories, all of the little stove, hot plate tops, Wonderful. We are just at 24, looking for 25 for the miniature cast iron stove. Let's count her down. Get your bids in. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, looking for the bid end on the miniature stove. I know Tracy and in a good memory. All right, I'm going to sit this down while we're waiting for that bid end. Let's see. Let's see if Ellen did it. For 24, if anybody snuck in there. All right, congratulations goes to Melanie Edwards with her bid of 29. Thank y'all so much. You got it. Thank you. It's it's awesome. Okay. Next. Oh, 
before we read, oh, I have to do this. I know this is, this is, well, it's 1995. This was handmade in 1995, but I love the saying on it. Thank you so much, Melanie. Happy Easter to you all. Look, this is painted on a slate in 1995. And it says, Grandmas are just antique little girls. Isn't that sweet? $10 start. This was handcrafted by Plain Jane. Plain Jane in the 90s. I just love the saying. This is painted on a piece of slate. Painted on a piece of slate. $10. Grandmas are just antique little girls. How cute is that? $10 start. Looking for a $10 start. And I believe it's, you know, it's supposed to look chipped on the sides. It's a painted piece of slate. Very sweet saying. Grandmas are just antique little girls. $10 start. $10 start on the grandmas are little antique little girls. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Folks, those of you who are educated in mid-century goodness know that the next item I'm about to do, they're very nice. They're very nice, okay? They look wood, but these are metal. They were produced by Sexton, S-E-X-T-O-N. Oh, there we go, y'all are, okay. Absolutely, Kaylee. Booney was technically first with her bid of 10. Booney was first with her bid of 10, looking for 11. Looking for 11. You don't have to be a grandma to appreciate this. Absolutely not. 10 looking for 11. On the grandmas are antique little girls painted in 1995. I know I need to slow down. I need to slow down. Kay Kaylee is at 11 looking for 12. 11 looking for 12. I'm going to count this down. 11 looking for 12. This is a painted piece of slate. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on the grandmas are antique little girls. There it is, Kaylee. Thank you so much. You are the winner. Thank you, Booney. Kaylee, you are the winner with your bid of 11. All right. Back to the mid-century goodness. We have the largest cat. Now, these are metal. They were painted to look like wood. Please know we do have some flaking. There is flaking of the paint on these metal kitty cats. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. Here is the back side. That's the largest one. They are all marked. Okay, this is one of the two outer kitty cats. He's got a little rub on his nose, but I promise you folks, uh, the paint does not bother people that are buying these. They are very nice. Here is the last one. I, I just love, they're little supposed to be Siamese kitty cats, but they could be most any mid-century kitty cat that you want them to be. So they are metal. The starting bid on a set of three, okay? My starting bid on the set of three is gonna be less for what one has sold for, I promise you. $99 start. I need a $99 start and there will be a reserve. I will let you know when the reserve has been met. These sell, they have sold multiple times 
for over $300. And tonight I am starting the set at $99. $99. You could re well, you could repaint them. I have seen people paint them black. Oh, that looks really good. And they sold for over $300. You could paint them black and put a pop of color on their collars. You could paint them pink or teal, whatever is your signature color, but you are getting all three all three kitty cats, the complete set, don't tear your shirt, looking for a $99 start if there is any interest tonight. $99 start. Everybody, please look them up. $99 start, even with the wear on their paint. They would be very easy um, to repaint if you desired. Thank you, Terry, for your bid of 99 looking for 100 I will let you know when the reserve has been met. 99 looking for 100 99 looking for 100 The tallest kitty cat stands, let's see, goodness, like night. He's going to be 19 inches, approximately 19 inches. He's taller than my 18 inch ruler, 19 inches tall. They are metal. 99 looking for 100 sleek, sexy, mid-century kitty cats, 99 looking for 100. Ninety-nine looking for one hundred. Terry knows. Okay. I'm trying to hold them. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. All right, folks. We're looking at a three hundred dollar set. I will just go ahead and tell you the reserve. If anybody wants to put their big girl, big boy pants on, go you. 145, it's gonna take 145 for me to let these kitties go. 145, I've seen the biggest one sell for 150. You're getting all three. 145, I'll hesitantly put them in the recap, but 145 is, that's a good deal. You're getting all three. I'm going to put them down. 145 for all three of the metal mid-century kitty cats. Metal Sexton, S-E-X-T-O-N, mid-century kitty cats. Terry, I appreciate you. Thank you for your bid. Y'all think about it. Take the time to look it up. 145 is very good. I'm going to put them down. 145, we will come back to them. Thank you for your consideration. All right, moving right along. How about some more gorgeousness? Some more uh, moonstone. You see Mickey Mouse, by the way, I will be sure to get to go on and pull Mickey Mouse out. I thank you, Jonathan. I have a beautiful moonstone hobnail ruffly bowl. We're going to start this at 29 and go. 29 and go for the moonstone ruffly hobnail bowl. No chips or cracks. It's so, it, it's that thin glass. It almost feels like a potato chip. <laughs> no chips or cracks. Wonderful Moonstone, looking for a $29 start. Looking for a $29 start on this beautiful bowl. $29 start. It has a diameter of nine and a half. Nine and a half inch diameter, beautiful. Hello, Sam, just in time for a beautiful piece of glass. We're looking for a $29 start, $29 start. This would be adorable with some green Easter grass and your 
chocolate candied eggs. Looking for just a $29 start on the Moonstone Hobnail. Oh, I wish you could see like that ring of fire effect around the edges. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Looking for a $29 start. Beautiful. $29 start. Everyone okay? I know where you are. You're on eBay looking up those gig. <laughs> I'm telling you, just listen to me. I wouldn't lead you astray. Let me see if I can get Mickey out. I love this phone. I have sold a few in my career. I should always keep one for myself. But that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Oh, Charlie Brown. Please sit up. Don't do that. Okay. M-I-C-K-E-Y, Mickey Mouse. Okay, folks, here's the scoop on Mickey. He's fabulous. He has a great look to him. The, um, his hand, normally for some reason, the plastic on the hand does yellow over the years. They must have made it. Um, you got the lamp also. I have sold that one too. It is a somewhat, this is funny, it's a somewhat working phone, <laughs> but I'm going to sell it for decoration only. Um, when I dialed, it does not dial the right number. <laughs> so if you are a people person and you want to find a new friend out there, just dial the number, see who you get. I don't know why. I don't know what the issue is, but it does not dial the number you dial. So very interesting. We're going to start Mickey as just a fun collectible for $32. $32 start. I mean, how many people are actually, it would be very fun if he did work, but more than likely you're going to sit him on a shelf and have a great memory. Thank you, Janet. That is correct for all three, for all three. So we're going to start Mickey at 32 if there is any interest. 32 if there is any. Oh, dear, dear, Angela is here. Hello. Thank you so much for popping in. Looking for a $32 start for the vintage. This is a 1976. Let me check. A 1976 telephone 1976 looking for a 32 dollars start the ultimate disney collectible i have um i've got garfield i was thinking the other day i need the lips one i want the lips phone that uh dj had you know dj tanner had the lips that's on the that is on the list of must-haves $32 start for M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E. Wow. $32 start. Don't think too long. We'll put you in the recap round, Mickey. That's okay. That's okay, Mickey. You sit right here. They're going to love you. I promise. All right. What shall we do next? How about a cute little enamel teapot? Or not teapot, little coffee pot. Cute little enamel coffee pot. Oh, your little cute baby teapot arrived. Oh, I'm, that makes me so happy. That was the perfect color you enjoy. We're gonna start this little mini coffee, uh, enamel coffee pot at just $12. $12 and go. I will tell you the handle is a little loosey-goosey right there. It's not going anywhere, but it is a little wiggly. $12 start. It does come with normal character of being old and enamel, which we all know and love. Thank you, Brittany, for your bit of 12 looking for 13. 12 looking for 13. I think you could put a little bit of water in this and have a cute little arrangement coming out. Uh, here we come. 
Now, Booney said 12, but oh, Ellen said 14. So we need 15, 15 or better, 15 or better. Let's see, approximately seven inches tall, seven inches tall, cute as a button. Thank you, Brittany, for your bid of 15, looking for 16. 15, looking for 16 on the enamel little coffee pot. Let's counter down. We're at 15, looking for 16. Again, it's approximately seven. Did I say seven or seven and a half, including the little top seven inches? Here we go. Ten, nine, Enrique, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid in. Long time no see. I am so glad you found your way over to YouTube. That is wonderful. All right, we are looking for that bid in. Looking for, there it is. Congratulations. Now, everyone, I have to go on the first person that I saw. And that is Miss Janet. Miss Janet, you are the winner with your bid of 16. Thank you so much, Ellen. I appreciate you. I'm sorry you came in after the bid end. It goes to Miss Janet for $16. Thank you so much. All right, all right. Let's do a tablecloth. Let's do a tablecloth. I think this is like almost a square. They were trying for a square, okay? Now, I think it's like, was it 40, 48 by 52-ish? Thank you so much, 48 by 52-ish. I know, it's real legit now. I will tell you there are some minor, a minor spot and a little teeny hole that I'm just noticing. I'm going to show it to you. The colors, that teal color with the red flowers, it is in a square all the way around. This is as far back as I can get. Love the mid-century colors. I'm going to start this at just $10 because of that little that little hole that you probably will not see unless you were shining it up to a, a light like I'm doing right now. So wonderful teal, little teal border with red flowers. Now I gotta find the problem. Okay, this is probably where somebody had something stapled. You know what I mean? Like, and they ripped it off anyway. Okay, this is our issue. That's our issue right there. I'm not gonna poke my finger through it, but it blends in. Hey, at least it blends in with the darker part of that flower. And then we've got this area right here. But I just love the color so much that I can somehow just overlook that. There is no major horrible stain on it that, you know, nobody spilt tea or, and it, this looks like paint to me. There's a little speck right there. That looks like paint. So I have showed you that it does have those two holes, but there's no major stains to it. Can y'all even see anything? I hope so. It's a square pattern. I would say tablecloth size. I'm still looking at it, making sure I don't see anything else major wrong with it. But all right, make that make that three little places. But thankfully, that kind of looks like a petal. Okay. Oh, isn't it adorable? I know, Brittany. I know. So teal and red and blue teal red and blue wonderful mid-century colors 
All right, family guy, thank you for your bid of 30. We're looking for 31 or better. 31 or better on this vintage tablecloth. It is sold as is, but heck, it is so charming. So, so charming. Okay, I'm going to count it down. Thank you, Elizabeth. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. I should have done <laughs> I should have done that trick where I run away. <laughs> Looking for the bid end. Janet loves it. I do too. Cornflowers and poppies. Cornflowers and poppies. It's a very thick, like, um, what is that called? Bark cloth? Is that what you call it? There is the bid end. All right. Looks like to me, Family Guy, you have scored yourself a vintage tablecloth. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if we have done business together uh, before or not. If we have, just forgive me. But if not, all I ask is any new customers, you email me at, oops, I forget. It's over here, isn't it? Is it over here? jcphoto at charter.net and give me your PayPal email information. That way I can send your invoice and let me know if it needs to be shipped. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all for your bids. Next up, what do we want to do? Oh, we haven't done any coins. Y'all didn't say anything. You should have said something. All right, let me get a pen. All my coin people get ready. Here we go. Good night, Jonathan. You sleep tight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five people can win this next coin. This is a claim it now situation. I am going to give you the year. I have five. They're all the same year. Okay. This is the first. Well, this will give you an advantage if you know your coin if you know your coin history, the first Lincoln penny. This is the first Lincoln penny. They are $8 each. The first Lincoln penny, the year is 1909. The year is 1909. The first five people that type in 1909 will get a Lincoln penny. For just $8, that was the first year the Lincoln the penny was produced. Okay, two more. Two more are available. Grab yourself a Lincoln penny for just $8. The significance is this was the first year they were made. Okay, here we go. Chris Leonard, congratulations. Thank you so much. Candy Atkins, you did it, girl. Thank you. All right, Sam, I'm going to say it. You told me it was soft. So, Sam Hoberstitch. Am I any closer? Am I any closer, Sam? Let me know. Elizabeth Holiday. Thank you. Booney June, thank you. All right, those were all I had tonight. Cindy, we're going to write you down, and I'm going to try to find one close for you, okay? So if we could please record Cindy, and I will message her if I can find her something pretty close to this, okay? Thank y'all so much. Oh, Capsize, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, closer. Sam says I was closer. All right. I look forward to that. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I, I know I'm going to feel like a doofus when you tell me. Let's do one more, folks. Let's do another coin hit. Here we go. The next available is one, two, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people. 10 people can win this one. 
And the year is going to go between 1911 and 1914. What I try to do is first come, first serve. I assume you want the older first. All right, $10 a pop. We have Barber Dimes. B1, well, okay, Saint. oh, oh dear. Okay, never mind. Y'all, y'all thought, okay. Sorry, that was my mistake. Just go ahead. Y'all type in 1911. I was going to tell you to say dime because these are all different years. But I know what you mean. But type in dime real quick. D-I-M-E. Just for, oh, never mind. I lost you. <laughs> I'll take either. I will take either. Okay. Okay. Y'all were just, you were on it. Okay. I think. Well, we got 10, so here we go. Anybody that says 1911 or dime, I will take it, okay? But it doesn't mean you're going to get a 1911, okay? Only the first two people. Well, hello, Trudy. Happy Easter to you. I'm so glad you could stop by. All right. Sam, you are the first. Thank you so much. So Sam gets one, then Chris Leonard gets one. Okay. Candy Adkins, thank you so much. Um, let's see, for recording purposes, Sam and Chris are getting the 1911s. Candy Adkins is gonna get a 1913. Thank you so much. And then Booney June is going to get a 1913. Thank you so much. Okay, we have a few left. Any more? They're just $10. $10 a pop. Just type in dime. Just type in dime, D I M E. If you want to score, put one in your Easter basket. Put one in your Easter basket. Looking for the word dime, D-I-M-E. Okay, let me put these over here. All righty, moving right along. Moving right along, how about Coca-Cola? I have this really cool um, thermometer. This I this is not old to the best of my knowledge. This is a reproduction, but it's so cool. It's so cool. I don't see a date on it anywhere, but I think we're pretty safe to say that this is a reproduction, but it is wonderful. And because it's a reproduction, we can just start at a fun price of $20. $20 for this Coca-Cola. It well, it is um it is registered with Coca-Cola, all rights reserved. It's just a little newer. Lucy, I got you down for a dime. Let's see. Thank you so much. So, Miss Lucy Weller is going to get a 1913 as well. Thank you so much. All right. $20 start on the Coca-Cola thermometer. $20 start for the Coca-Cola thermometer. $20 start. He is in excellent condition. We do have, it has been outside. You can see a little bit of rust on the back side, but I would imagine this would be maybe a 90s production. Very fun. Thermometer appears to be working. It's delicious and refreshing. Thank you, Booney, for your bid of 20, looking for 21 or better on the Coca-Cola thermometer. You get to enjoy a little piece of Coca-Cola nostalgia and get to use it. You don't have to be afraid, you know, if you want to put it outdoors. You don't have to be afraid, outdoors or indoors. All right, Booney's a 20, looking for 21 or better. 20, looking for 20 one or better for the Coca-Cola thermometer. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one, looking for the bid end on the Coca-Cola thermometer, probably produced in the 90s. But you know, it gets pretty scary. You can't just say, assume the 90s aren't vintage anymore. It is scary. All right. And the winner is... Whew, that was close. That was very close. Congratulations goes to Crystal Vaughn with her bid of 28. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your bids. All right, Crystal, she's keeping her Coke Queen title. Thank you so much. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, you just her. Okay. <laughs> Zip it. I can do that. All right. Next up. The colors of this vase. Absolutely beautiful. I've been saving this one for spring, folks. Now, here is the bottom. There is the bottom. I'm going to let you fully examine it before we start. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that effect. <laughs> Beautiful. Some say this is in the style of Murano. Some call it Murano. You know how that is. There are no major chips or cracks to this piece. Okay, Daniel's saying Murano cased. We are going to start this beautiful, beautiful vase at 35 and go. I know, I know. I think they, they, they look like daffodils to me. 35 and go. Let's, let's do it. $35 and go. The color is amazing. Oh, 35 and go. Where's my ruler? It could be a weapon, Nikki. You throw this at somebody, they're not going <laughs> they're not going to mess with you. It's as heavy as a thick paperweight. Let's see. Approximately five and a half inches. Approximately five and a half inches. Oh, you're saying put that. Well, I think it I think it could be an artistic daffodil. It could be a pink daffodil. Beautiful. Thank you, Crystal, for your bid of 35 looking for 36. Um, if, if this is indeed Murano, um, that's an insulting price, folks. 35, looking for 36. The green is just gorgeous. It's like, it's like the electric version of green in comparison when I say electric blue, you know, or Windex blue. It is beautiful. Daffodils, the yellow would pop. Yes, it would. The yellow would pop. I don't even think I have to have this light under it to show you the brilliance of that green. So good. Crystal's at 35. Y'all are going to make me sweat this one. Crystal's at 35 looking for 36. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful piece. 35 looking for 36 approximately five and a half inches in height stunning stunning green all right folks let's see how close we can get we are at 35 looking for 36 or better i'm gonna count it down here we go 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end on this gorgeous gal. Looking for the bid end, possibly a Murano vase here in my hand. Looking for that bid end. There it is, Crystal. I can hear the squeals from Crystal's living room. <laughs> Congratulations. This sweet thing's going with your beautiful blue carnival glass canister. I can't wait to see you this weekend, girl. Thank you so much.
that's how it's done folks that's how it is done all right put you to the side oh this is hysterical have you liked this is not for sale have you liked this video yet <laughs> Be sure to give it a thumbs up. I found, I found this over the weekend and it's just hysterical. I have to keep it. You have to understand why it's not, it's not vintage, but this is a moment for me to ask y'all, don't forget to give this sale a thumbs up, a share, whatever you can do to boost me in the YouTube algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Moving right along, how about some more ephemera? I have choice. Choice of a life. That's me. I'm classic. Choice of a life magazine. We're going to start these at seven and go. Choice of a life. Thank you for those thumbs ups. I appreciate it when y'all do that in the comments, but I need it actually done to the video. You know what I mean? Like you might have to run out real quick. I'm not sure. It depends on whatever device you're on. Run out real quick. Give me a thumbs up, then come back in. Try that. Oh, they're already off on the Life magazines. We have Charlie Brown on the front of this one. The year is 1967. Or this is a cool one covering the 60s. How neat is the cover alone? Yes, both of them do have the original um, mailing stickers on them. If you close the comments, there will be a like button below the video. Brittany, you are golden. And hello, my Olivia. What time is it? Is she in the bed? Hello, Olivia. I hope I haven't missed you. That is very good information. See, it's hard because I am looking in StreamYard. So that is excellent advice. So we have the 60s cover or Charlie Brown. And I'll try, I'll try not to get too hung up in looking at the magazines. Look, this is on the back of the 60s. Look at that Coca-Cola advertisement. Oh, hello, oh, Olivia. She makes me do a big cheat. <laughs> she cheeses me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Olivia. All right, we are at we are at 10 with Stormy. Stormy is the first 10. Looking for 11. Looking for 11. Looking for 11. On the cover. Either the 60s. Well, they're both from the 60s. Janet, make sure that you are that you are in sync with us. So more than likely, it's because of your lag. And I'll need you to go out and come back and refresh. And hopefully that will get it, get you in sync with us. Okay. All right. All right, Olivia just makes me smile. Here we go for choice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on Choice of a Life magazine. They will come with a normal character from age and use. normal character there is the bid end sam i'm so sorry you came in after the bid end boonie you are the winner with your bid of 12. would you like the 1967 charlie brown cover or your 1960s cover let us know let either one it would be such a great conversation she takes them both thank you so much I love how the woman shops. Thank you. Thank you all for your bids. All right. 
Okay, moving right along. What shall we do next? How about some amazing vases? How about that? I do not know the maker of this vase, but how awesome is it? Color, subject matter, have you ever? Have you ever seen such in your life? This is your first choice. Here is the bottom. It is not marked. There are no major chips or cracks. We have the wonderful Ram figure at the bottom. Very interesting, amazing color. No chips or cracks. The bidding starts at 26, 26, or, I mean, these colors are so mid-century. Maybe you're into Weller pottery. This one is marked Weller. Clearly and beautifully right on the bottom. This one is Weller. Another wonderful mid-century color. No chips or cracks. There is a slight... See, you can't see it in the profile until you turn it upside down. That is on the bottom of the foot. You really don't notice it in the profile. It is there, but it is on the bottom. This is Weller. Okay, Jason is at 26. Hello, Angie. Angie, you have so much good stuff here. I say hello to you all the time. <laughs> when I see your back. Hey, Angie, so much good stuff. It's good to see you. Jason is at 26. Looking for 27. This is going to be choice of two beautiful pottery vases. We have crazing, no major chips or cracks. That one has the place on the bottom, but you really do not notice it. I mean, these colors are so good. We're at 26 with Jason looking for 27 or better. 26 with Jason looking for 27 or better. 27 or better. What is the movie this reminds me of? What is the name of that 80s movie? Tell me in the comments. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it? I can't think of it. Oh, awesome. Yes, Angie, I will be open this weekend, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So everyone, please come pick up your goodness. And then maybe I will be able to get rid of this extra shelf. I had so many orders. I had to bring an extra shelf in here to fill and hold all, to just hold all of your goodness. 11 to 4 p.m. on Saturday. All right, Jason, get ready. Be ready for those who are willing, who are waiting and willing. Hey, hello and welcome. We're bidding on these beautiful vases right now. This one is unknown of the maker, but amazing. And this one is Weller. Here we go. That's okay, Sam. When you all communicate with me, it is no problem. I appreciate it. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on choice of a pottery vase. The pink is Weller. The teal is amazing. Here we go. This is for choice. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Sam with his bid of 30. Sam, would you like the teal ram or the pink weller? Teal ram or the pink weller? Lucy, I'm so sorry your 32 came in after the bid end. Thank you though. Let's see which one Sam picks. All right, that was my favorite. Thank you so much. Okay, but we still have the expensive name one left, folks. Anne. Anne Morgan, would you like this beautiful mid-century pink Weller vase? 
It is marked on the bottom. Let's see if Anne wants to take the mid-century pink. Wonderful for Easter she passes. So then it would go to J uh, Jason. Jason for 26, were you interested in a piece of Weller pottery for just $26? Let us know. If not, this beauty will go on in the recap round. All right, moving right along. Thank y'all so much. Okie dokie, what shall we do? Let's see. Let me move him out of the way. Oh, real quick before I forget. Look at these sweet little napkins. I have a set of four little hand handmade napkins here. They do, you know, they have a little bit of character. They have been used. Nothing major. They are sweet as can be. Let's start the set of four out at eight dollars just looking for an eight dollar start you're going to get four matching little pieces of handwork so cute i guess you could snip that little string but i'm gonna let you all decide let me cut that off eight dollars for four Sweet little vintage napkins. Are they napkins or handkerchiefs? Kelly likes them. Thank you, Kelly. Is this a napkin or a handkerchief? I think it's more of a napkin, but it's very small. They are all alike. Looking for nine. Looking for a nine. Kelly is at eight looking for a nine. Just a little touch of spring. Maybe if you have a table setting of four that's set up all the time, you know, it'll be pretty with your green depression. Okay, let's count her down. Kelly is at eight looking for nine. Eight looking for nine. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. All righty. Kelly, did you do it? Oh, no. Congratulations goes to Ellen Edwards with her bid of 12. Thank you so much. Thank you both for your bids. All right, next up. Beautiful pink depression cake plate. Check out this beauty. I guess this could be, would you say, would you say sunflowers or daisies or it's just beautiful. It's got the little feet on the outside. We're going to start this pink depression cake plate for $24. Pink depression cake plate for $24. So much fun. These are perfect to put of oh, daisies. These this is perfect to put on a kitchen island or a table and sit different things on it, your candles or Easter bunnies, stuff like that. Thank you, Ms. Burke, for your bid of 24, looking for 25. Brittany is at 25, looking for 26. Folks, they say pink depression is having a comeback. Yay! Here we go. It has a diameter of nine and a half. A diameter of nine and a half. Whether you want it to be daisies or sunflowers, it is perfect for spring all the way through summertime. There are no chips or cracks to this piece. No funkiness. It is beautiful. We're at 26 with Brooke. Looking for 27. 
26 looking for 27. I like these little feet. You could use it as like a little trivet on your counter as well. All right, Brooke is in the lead. Let's do the countdown. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a one looking for the bid end on the pink depression cake plate. Pink depression cake plate. Okay. Pink depression cake plate. And the winner is Brooke with her bid of $30. Thank you so much, Brooke. It's a beautiful cake plate. Thank you all for your bids. All right, since we're on pink, I'm bringing some quality items tonight, folks. Oh my goodness. I think this is probably uh, one of the older pieces of the night. I have this pink satin cut vase. Look at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. This is a beautiful little piece. This came from the same estate that the satin. You are so welcome. Thank y'all so much. This came from the same estate that the little satin uh, ruffly vases I sold last week that they matched each other. We're going to start this at 29 at $29, this is a very nice piece. It could be a little jean, a little genie pop. <laughs> do I have to do Christina Aguilera? Cased, cased, excuse me, cased. It is beautiful, beautiful pink. You could just tell it's so old. It's not chipped or cracked. It stands approximately six and a quarter. We'll just say six. Approximately six. Beautiful. It does not glow. Just think of how sweet a little single daffodil could be out of this. Just a little single flower of any kind. Very sweet. Very sweet. $29 start for possibly the oldest piece tonight. Beautiful, beautiful little vase. I'm holding up my pasty arm so that you can see the color. Beautiful vase. Well, hey, Linda. I'm glad you said hello. $29 start on the beautiful satin vase. All right. Moving right along. From glass to rusty gold. Folks, I have, this is the scale to a hanging scale. It like would have had a bucket on it. But I just thought, how cool would this be to mix into your kitchenware, Mix it in with your jadeite and your enamelware on a shelf, just leaning like this. If you get a bucket, hey, even better, a little thing to hang on it, because it appears to be a freely moving scale. It holds up to 40 pounds, but I just love the look of it propped up on a shelf in your kitchen or wherever you'd like. This is going to be a $29 start. $29 start for this piece. Folks, if you had the scoop, it would be $125. We're just going to start it at $29 for the rusty gold scale. And it's freely moving. It is a freely moving scale. Let's see. I didn't calibrate it. Hold on just a second. I don't know if I don't. Where is the button to calibrate you? I don't know, but it is wonderful and will sit 
so nicely with the rest of your kitchen goodness. Weighs up to 40 pounds. Looking for a $29 start. $29 start on the scales. $29 start. You could hang other things from this. That would be cool. Think of other basket options. You can hang. Oh, speaking of basket. Speaking of basket, I have, let's put you to the back. I know, it is very cool. I have a 1998, 1998 Longa Burger basket. Yes, you need one in your life. And this is a cute little size. We're going to start it at $15. $15. I know. $15 start. Wonderful condition. It is marked and signed, I believe. Here's the bottom. I want to make sure 178. I think it's a 19. I think that's 98 and not 78. Either way. Either way. $15 start for the vintage Alonga Burger basket. $15 start. Hey, this would be cute. You could gift this to somebody with Easter treats in it this weekend. $15 start. And it's got the original little plastic liner in it. How good is that? You just did a floral arrangement in a basket today. See folks? So it has the little liner in it. You can take out $15. Angie says, yes, it's a 98. She's got this one. $15 start. $15 start. It is a light red, light red accent color. Use it for multi-holiday occasions. $15 start. $15 start on the basket. All right, folks. Let's take a sip of whatever you're drinking because you're going to need it. Where is my... There it is. I have a beautiful Fenton... I guess we could call this ombre effect daffodil vase. It is gorgeous. No chips or cracks. Do you see the daffodils on this vase? How beautiful. We have the blue up into the fuchsia and purple colors. No chips or cracks. This vase sells, folks, for over $100 multiple times online tonight. Don't make me regret it. I'm going to start it at 49. 49 and go, folks, on this Fenton Daffodil 5-inch tall vase. Fenton Daffodil. Absolutely gorgeous. Fent there we go. Oh, don't you change color. Fenton Daffodil. This is a hundred dollar and up vase, folks. No chips so cracks. It's so clean you could lick it. It's beautiful. Thank you for your bid of 49, Sam. Looking for 50. 49 looking for 50. No chips or cracks. She is gorgeous. Five inches tall. Wisteria Plum. Oh, you have a bell. You need the matching vase, Kim. It is so pretty. And just with it being daffodils is even better. We are at 49 looking for 50. 49 looking for 50. No chips or cracks on a beautiful, nice and clean Fenton vase. 49 looking for 50. Here we go. Amaze me during the countdown. 49 looking for 50 on a $100 
vase. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. It is purple. It is purple into a plum color. Five, four, hello, Arch. Three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid. Oh dear, don't do that. Go away. Okay, there we go. Sorry, we're shaking. Sorry, that thing is shaking. All right, there is the bid in. Congratulations goes to Angela with her bid of 55. Sam, I'm so sorry your 59 came in after the bid end. It's going to Angela for $55. Thank you so much, Angela. All right. Put you carefully over here. Okay, let's do some more coins. Let's do some more coins, shall we? Get my pen ready. Thank y'all. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. ten people. I have ten slots available. They're going to be eight dollars each. Angela, where's Angela? I meant you. I'm so sorry. Did I call you Angela? Just remember, I've had a migraine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just remember, I've had. I'm, I'm doing really good tonight, folks, to be standing upright. And forgive me. I would never call you the wrong name for anything. Anne is the winner. Angela was a figment of them. I never saw Angela. Anne. Anne is the winner. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten possibilities. Ten winners. Thank you, Anne. Ten winners. Eight dollars each. The first ten people who type in quarter. This is a Washington quarter. The first ten people that type in quarter. I am so sorry, Sam. But not according to what I see. If you go out and come back in, that 59 was after the bid end. So for our quarters, $8 a pop. Let's see how many we can sell. The years are from 1932 up until 1963. All right, here we go. So Chris Leonard, thank you so much. You are getting a 1932 Washington quarter. Yeah, that's right. Ann Morgan, thank you so much. You're getting a 1935. Candy Atkins, thank you. You're getting a 1941S. Sam. Haberstitch, you're, you're getting, you are also getting a 1941 uh, S. Thank you, Sam. Booney June, you're getting a 1942 D. Booney June, thank you so much. Okay, anybody else want to play? Or do you want another one? We have five left. Anybody else want to play? Just type in the word quarter and you will get yourself a Washington quarter uh, from the years 1943 to 1963. Just $8. Just $8 each. The years are 1943 through 1963. Okay. Specifically, we have 43, 45, 56, 59, and 63. All right, Anne, thank you so much. 1945. Okay. Okay, just four left. Candy. I don't have a 49, Candy, 
the years I have remaining are 43, 56, 59, and 63. Okay. Four left, $8 a pop. I'm going to put them in the recap round and we'll come back to it. If you decide you want another. Okay, so Ann, you're going to take a 43 as well. Okay, here we go. Ann is also taking a 1943. Thank you so much. Stormy. Okay, thank you, Ann. Stormy is taking a 1959. Thank you. All right, it's just a 63 and a 56. 63 and 56 are left. 63 and 56, if there is any interest. All right, good deal. Hang around. We still have a couple more um, coin options coming up. Oh, let's do these cute puppy dogs. Cute puppy dog alert coming. All right. We have a little Cocker Spaniel, Mama and Puppy. Let's start them at $6 and go. No chips or cracks to the little Cocker Spaniel, Mama and Puppy Dog. $6 start, $6 start. No chips or cracks. Sweet as can be. $6 start. Six dollar start for the mama and baby. You have them on your television. Looking for a six dollar start for the sweet mama and baby. Six dollar start. The mama stands. Let's see here. She is two inches tall, two inches tall, looking for just a $6 start on the little vintage Cocker Spaniel figurines. $6 start. $6 start. All right. I'm looking forward to that recap round that y'all are going to Y'all are going to surprise me like you did last week. Here we go. Wonderful wooden candlesticks. Very bohemian. I'm not exactly sure of the age. It does have black felt on the bottom of them, but they're so tall. They're so wonderful. Whether you want to use them, you know, just like they are or even paint them. If you wanted to paint them a certain color, I don't think you have to feel too bad about that. They are fantastic. $24 start. Just a $24 start. No winner's choice tonight, Anne. No winner's choice tonight, but stick around for that recap. Lots of beautiful things. $24 start. Looks like black walnut. Black walnut. They are beautiful. Now, they do have kind of, you know, marks of character, but nothing. Let's see, like, was it this one? You could see, like, where the wood, well, where is it? Like, right here is a little split, but that's in the wood, you know? That was just a part of nature. <laughs> so, we're looking for a $24 start on these fantastic wooden candlesticks. Let's see how tall. How tall are you? You're almost 15 and a half inches tall. 15 and a half inches tall. Folks, sometimes, thank you, Jason, for your bit of 24. Sometimes you need that height in your display to balance things out. If you're working with a mantle and you've got something fantastic on one side, but then you might need a little bit of balance on the other this comes into play. This will give you that height you need in your display. We're at 24, looking for 25 or better for the wooden candlesticks. 
24, looking for 25 or better on the wooden candlesticks. Let's count her down. Here we go. You're getting both. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a one, looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on the awesome wooden candlesticks. Awesome wooden candlesticks. Let's see, Jason, you did it. Thank you so much. I know you're gonna do beautiful things. Beautiful things with that. All right. Oh my goodness, speaking of beautiful things. Oh, I'm glad I didn't forget you. I have a Chromex Lazy Susan. This is a vintage, probably mid-century era Lazy Susan. It spins so good though. Most of the time you are welcome, thank you. Most of the time these things are, you know, stuck. Look at that. You've got your little center section. Each section, hold on, I'm balancing this. Each section will come out. Think of your parties. Think of this Sunday when you're serving your guests, whether you want to put peanuts, candies, mints, or whatever else your heart desires. We're going to start this Chromex set at 29, 29 and go. The chrome on it is an overall good condition. There may be a few just little spots. I promise it's nothing major. It's going to take me a minute to take these off. So $29 start, $29 start. Each section comes out, $29 start. I'm going to put jewelry in it. <laughs> if it doesn't sell tonight. Oh, Angie's on it. Thank you, Angie, for your bit of 30. Looking for 31 or better. Here we go. There's your chrome. You've got your normal little scratches, marks of character from use. Nothing major. Here's the bottom. It is marked Chromex. Well, hello, Jackie. Thank you so much. We're at 30, looking for 31 or better. And as you can see, it is freely moving. All right, now, let me put the pieces back. It fits just like, y'all remember the Simon Says game? Y'all remember that? Good time, Simon Says. Sorry if that was loud. Put our little centerpiece in there. Voila. Let's count her down. There are no major chips or cracks to the glass part. Well, thank you, Sam. Together, we usually try to figure it out. <laughs> Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end for the beautiful Chromex little divided lazy susan put you over here okay oh yes let's do those next where's my tray what did i do with my tray angie thank you so much you did it what did i do with my tray how can one lose a glass tray? There it is. Uranium coming up. Uranium. Okay, this makes me very nervous. I can do it. I have a set of four goblets. 
I acquired the, I'm only going to put three on this thing. I acquired them all at the same time. I feel to the best of my knowledge, they glow equally. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful uranium goblets. I have four. I just can't fit them all on this little platter. Oh my goodness. So good. And you see them. They all came from the same place. And I feel they are all glowing equally. Everyone has equal glowing opportunities. Let me put this down. We're going to start the bid for all four of them at 24. I was making myself nervous, Ganessa. $24 start and go. $24 start and go on the uranium goblets. There might be a little roughness around this mold line, but nothing major. Thank you, Anita, for your bid of 24. Looking for 25 or better. Beautiful, beautiful glow. So good. We're at 24. Looking for 25 or better. 24. Looking for 25 four uranium goblets oh my goodness 24 looking for 25 or better 24 looking for and this is with all of the lights still on 24 looking for 25 or better Twenty four looking for twenty five. Here we go, folks. Hold tight, Anita. We are at twenty four looking for twenty five or better. I'm not sure they see what is in front of them. Twenty four looking for tw oh Lord. Now my black light's dying. Twenty four looking for twenty five or better. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end on the four uranium goblets that glowed so good. Let's see who does it. Here we go. Here we go. I knew y'all were just, just holding out on me. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Make sure I call it right. Goes to Miss Anita Lassiter with her bid of 30. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your bids. All right. Next up. You can't, you cannot, you cannot show up on Sunday to your occasion without your vintage spring bling, folks. This is going to be choice of a floral brooch, choice of a floral brooch, $20 start, $20 start. I love this one. It's a, such a thin plastic it's beautiful. So it's like a snowflake. So dainty. Like a piece of lace. Looking for a $20 start. Everyone is congratulating Anita. And then this is one of those like three dimensional little daisy cluster. So cute. Do like, like Cassandra showed you. Pin it on your pocketbook. Well, of course, you can wear it like the norm. Put it on a pocketbook. Put it on a headband. So pretty. $20 start for a vintage floral pin. 
$20 start for a vintage floral pen. I mean, vintage, just screaming. Hello! <laughs> vintage floral pen. $20 start. Hang tight, folks. Next up. We have a beautiful. Yes, they will. They sure will, Jason. <laughs> he is not going to let you have that down. And I thought that might be you. <laughs> Pay close attention, Ann. Don't leave. Don't leave me. All right. Look at this amazing. I don't know how I'm letting this one go. Beautiful Fenton teal striped. It just looks like a piece of candy. Beautiful Fenton basket. I do not see any chips or cracks. She is absolutely gorgeous. Fenton is on the bottom of this basket. Here we go. $29 start. $29 start and go for the beautiful Fenton. I know. I know, Christy. I, I already explained this to mother. <laughs> I already explained. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel, for your bid of 40. Looking for 41 or better. Let's go, folks. Forty, looking for forty-one or better. The beautiful teal striped glass Fenton basket. Hippity hoppity, Easter is on its way, and this is the kind of basket I want for Easter. We're at forty-one with Sam, looking for forty-two. Forty-one, looking for forty-two. It stands approximately eight inches tall approximately eight inches tall ganessa isn't it beautiful it's so beautiful ganessa we are looking for 46 okay sam gave it to me now we're looking for 47 46 looking for 47 thank you so much all 78 of you thank you so much for being here we are looking for thank you angie Looking for 47 on this beautiful, it just looks like candy, doesn't it? Beautiful Fenton basket. Thank you, Ellen, for your bid of 47. Again, approximately eight inches tall to the top of the handle. Top of the handle. All right, 47, looking for 48. Let's count it down. Throw down those bids, folks. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on this gorgeous Fenton teal basket. Looking for the bid end. There it is. Congratulations. Goes to Ellen Edwards with her bid of 50. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your bids. Happy Easter to you, Ellen. That is going to be gorgeous. All right. Next up, I have a three-part set. I'm going to sell these all together. Look at our little cottage teapot. How sweet is that? Now, I'm just seeing, I tell you, you see stuff when you hold it up to the light. It has a little nick right there under that little rooftop. It's not that noticeable. And then on the back side, well, you could choose either side you want because they're identical. There's a little chip on the spout, but hold tight. It is absolutely precious. 
and it comes with the matching cottage sugar and creamer. Look at that, aren't they precious? Sugar and creamer. We're going to start the set of three at $24. The set of three at $24. The little sugar has a little chip on the inside. There is a chip on the inside of that sugar. Once you put the lid down, you cannot see it. Absolutely adorable. You know, everybody's talking about your little cottage core decor. Well, here we go, folks. We have the cottage. We are at 24 with Kelly. Kelly was the first 24. Now Booney's at 25. You're getting the three tart set sold as is. It's not a big deal, folks. I promise you. They are adorable. Absolutely adorable. We're at 26 looking for 27. 26 looking for 27 on the teapot and matching sugar and creamer. Teapot with the matching sugar and creamer. You are getting three pieces. Three pieces. Here we go, folks. Get your bids in. 26 looking for 27 or better. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the one looking for the bid end on the three-part cottage set. Three-part cottage set. Cute as can be. Let's put you over here. Let's see. There is the bid end. Thank you so much. It goes to Kelly Allen with her bid of 26. Thank you so much. All right. Now, folks, this is another high quality item. In my, um, yeah, nine years of this vintage career, I have never been able to score one of these to sell. Make your mama and your grandma proud. This is the Fostoria coveted square pedestal cake plate. Yay for Kelly, thank you so much. There are no major chips or cracks to this piece. There are a couple of little rubs on, hold on, make that one, one little rub on the bottom of this point. Nothing major, it does not affect the profile of it. There are no major scratches or anything of that sort, especially to be as old as it is, no major chips. She is a beauty. This is another high quality item. I'm bringing it tonight, folks. I just hope you will pick it up. <laughs> Here we go. Now you have to do your research, okay? We're going to start this at 99. If there is any interest tonight in this Fostoria square pedestal cake plate, I promise you, 99. We're going to start this at 99 if there is any interest tonight. 99. Looking for a $99 start for the Fostoria square cake plate super heavy very hard to even get your hands on they are so expensive 99 dollars start for the square look it up <laughs> 99 dollars start daniel you didn't know what you had oh my gosh 99 dollars start if there is any interest tonight that is tonight's price only, okay? So it's going to take a $99 start for the Fostoria Square
pedestal cake plate. Thank you, Ganessa. Angie, Angie, thank you so much. Thank you for your bid of 99. This is a 150 to 200 dollar cake plate. Seriously. I wouldn't steer you wrong. We are at 99 looking for 100. This is a heck of a deal. Let's jump in on it, folks. 99 looking for 100 or better for the Fostoria square cake plate. <sighs> I should put a reserve on this. 99 looking for 100 or better. Here we go. Get your bids in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Of course it does. 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end on the Fostoria square cake plate. Heavy, heavy, heavy. We're going to put you over here. Safely. Oh, I may never see another. Congratulations goes to Angie Radford. Thank you, girl. You got an amazing deal. Thank you so much. Everybody, give Angie a hand. She just scored a Fostoria pedestal square cake plate. Y'all are going to be so sad when you look it up. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much, Angie. All righty. Moving right along. I have this cutie pie. It's just, I thought I had something else to go with it, but we're just going to sell this by itself. This is a little table runner or could be a dresser scarf. Okay. You could put this in the middle. They are all congratulating you, Angie, and you did get such a good deal. All right. It has our favorite spring flower, daffodils. Oh, your hummingbird cake. Angie, would you, do you mind taking pictures of your cake on that cake plate? I know it's going to be beautiful. We're going to start this little table runner at just $10 just $10. It has a little bit of character, but not nothing too major. Thank you, Angie. I know it's going to be beautiful. Nothing major. I left these little strings because I didn't know, you know, you could cut it off if you want to or try to uh, re-thread it back in there. Just a sweet little vintage it could be put in the center of a table or on a dresser. And you have your daffodils on both sides. Of course, it needs to be ironed. Well, hello, Travel Nut. Oh, the lamb cake, the infamous lamb cake with the coconut. <laughs> All right, Angie's at 15. She needs this to put her cake on. <laughs> Thank you so much. 15 looking for 16. 15 looking for 16. The colors are red and pink and blue. Red, pink, and blue. Now on the back side, you've got a lot of string action. That is the back side. Okay. But just a very sweet little vintage table runner or dresser scarf. Here we go. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Looking for the bid end on the little table runner slash dresser scarf. Table runner. Let's see, it's on my pedestals. Don't forget to hit that like button, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Here we go. Did I call the winner of that? I don't know if I did or not. 
Angie, congratulations if I didn't already call you. You are the winner with your bid of 17. Thank you all for your bids. Is it a banana holder? Is it a taco holder? Is it a flower holder? It could be whatever you like. I don't think I've ever had this one before. I've had it in milk glass, but look at this beautiful, clear, like I said, make it a taco holder. But I especially like it when someone puts a candle in the middle, in the middle, and then drapes flowers on either side. Is this one you have been looking for all of your life, Daniel? <laughs> it's the banana boat taco holder. We're going to start it. No chips or cracks at 26 and go. 26 and go for the banana boat taco holder, mail holder, whatever you would like. It's all about repurposing all about reaper and it would be so beautiful as a centerpiece thank you so much sam for your bit of 26. well you better tell them and get on it it measures 13 inches long by six inches deep approximately eight and a half inches tall this is a significant size, folks. We are at 27 with Ganessa, looking for 28 or better. You will not be disappointed, folks. It is very beautiful, no major chips or cracks. It's in beautiful condition. We are at 27, 27. It's the largest one they made. 27 looking for 28 put your flowers candles it is wide enough to put a little candle a little bath and body or i'm sorry that's my ring in the middle we're gonna count it down approximately approximately between 1953 and 72. Thank you, Elizabeth, for your bid of 28. Looking for 29. 28, looking for 29 or better. Ooh, we could have a matching cake plate. Beautiful centerpiece possibilities. Here we go, get your bids in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on this beautiful banana boat taco holder. All right. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Elizabeth Holiday with her bid of 37. Diane, I'm so sorry your 37 came in after the bid end. Elizabeth was first and before. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your bids. All right. Look at this little vintage butterfly compact perfect for any little or big girl how sweet is that it's just the mirror i just love it we're gonna start the butterfly i don't want to blind you the butterfly compact there we go we're gonna start this at eight dollars and go eight dollars and go it's plastic fantastic um let's see made in hong kong but it's vintage and i just loved it so much eight dollar little eight dollar start for the little or big girl or big girl with a little heart how about that thank you michael for your bid of eight looking for nine eight looking for nine very sweet 
eight, looking for nine. It just has three little mirrors in it. Eight, looking for nine. Little plastic, fantastic butterfly compact. Eight, looking for nine. Let's count her down. We're looking for nine or better for the vintage butterfly compact. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Looking for the bid end on the vintage butterfly compact. Looking for the bid end on the vintage butterfly compact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, let's see who won the compact. Congratulations goes to the first 11. The first 11 I see is Sam. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm so sorry your 12 came in after the bid end. Thank you all for your bids. All right, I have a collection that somebody so lovingly put together of American Girl magazines. American Girl magazines magazines. Do you remember this magazine? American Girl Magazines. Now they have, they says it's, they says, good Lord. They say that this binder contains January through March 1957 to 1960, but the first one says 1955. So here we go. This is going to be very difficult to show. Here we go. We're going to start this collection at $29. You're getting 13 magazines. I think the strength is in the collection. How cute. Think of just putting this on a coffee table. Look at the poodle. Here's the Easter one. How cute is that? Looking for just a $29 start and you're getting all of them. Look at the advertisement. Your younger sister was obsessed. I mean, this is going to be hours of entertainment for someone. Hours. So you're getting the whole collection. I will tell you the last three, the last three do have some water damage, but they're in here. This is the Christmas one. They still can be enjoyed. Look, here's your Coca-Cola Christmas advertisement, but that has had some water damage. And that's cute. The little sewing one. So the last three do have water damage, but you're getting a total of 13. So that's just like a bonus. A bonus. $29 start for all of the American Girl magazines. Thank you, Booney, for your bid of 29. Looking for 30 or better, they are sold as is. They are sold as is. It's in your, your nanny's magazine rack collection. Here we go, folks, 29, looking for 30 or better. You're getting a total of 13 American girl magazines 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and a 1 looking for the bid end Woo! that's hard to hold looking for the bid end on the collection of American Girl magazines. It was, it was. All right, Miss Booney June, you have hours 
of entertainment coming your way. Thank you so much. All right. This is going to be choice. Choice of a beautiful ruffled hobnail dish. I like this one even more because you don't see the little pedestal that has the hobnail on it as well. $12 start. You're either choosing from this piece or this beautiful hand painted piece. Check this out and it is signed. It is signed by Pat. It looks like Pat Carter. P-A-T-C-A-R-T-E-R. -E Pat Carter. Beautiful. Blue. Look how it's blue on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. So two wonderful options here, folks, whether you're going for the Fenton or this hand-painted artist signed piece. This is for choice. We are at 15 with Daniel. 15 with Daniel, no chips or cracks to either piece. They work quite well together. Swoon, swoon, Daniel, swoon. Looking for 16, looking for 16. Again, no chips or cracks, beautiful colors on this beautiful hand painting. And how often do we have the artist's signature? Pat Carter. We are at 15, looking for 16. 15, looking for 16. Thank you, Sam, for your bit of 17, looking for 18. 17, looking for 18. This piece stands approximately seven and a quarter inches tall. Seven and a quarter inches tall. Let's count her down. Ellen, oh, nope, Stormy is the first 18. So, Ellen, I'm looking for 19 or better. I'm looking for 19 or better. Candy's like 20. Thank you for laying it down. Looking for 21. Looking for 21 or better. This is choice of the hand painted or hobnail. Here we go. Candy's in the lead with 20. Candy's in the lead with 20. She beat y'all at 20 a little while ago. We're going to count it down. Candy has the first 20. Looking for 21 or better. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and a one. Looking for the bid in. This is for choice. This is for choice. Choice of the milk glass or the hand painted piece. Here we go. There's the bid end. Congratulations goes to Ellen Edwards with her bid of 26. And I'm so sorry your 28 came in after. Ellen is the winner with her bid of 26. Ellen, would you like the hand painted piece or the milk glass piece? Let us know. And everyone, don't go anywhere. Be ready to let me know which one you were going for. Let's see. Which one Ellen wants? Milk glass or hand painted. Stay tuned, everybody. Wonderful stuff to come. We're just waiting on Ellen's response. And then after Ellen, it would be Ann. There she is. Thank you, Ellen. She got the hand painted one. Thank you so much. Okay, and let me know, were you interested in the milk glass? If not, say pass. 
then it would go to Sam. Nope, it would not. It would go to Candy Atkins for 20. If not, say pass. Then it would go to Sam. Okay, never mind. And made it easy. Thank you so much. And gets the milk glass for 25. Thank you. Okay, where can I stick him? Oh, speaking of milk glass, here's another gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Oh, $24 start and go. You are so welcome. There's nothing wrong with this beautiful Fenton lidded dish. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. $24 start and go for the hobnail. Come on. For the hobnail scalloped footed Fenton lidded dish. All of the adjectives. Thank you, Daniel, for your bit of 28. Looking for 29. The VP Calico Diva approves. 28. Looking for 29. I mean, anything with feet on it. Hobnail, scalloped edge. Thank you, Elizabeth, for your bid of 30. Looking for 31 or better. 35. Thank you, Daniel, for your bid of 35. Looking for 36. Oh, Shirley. Shirley already has this one. Thank you, Shirley. I was wondering. I was wondering, but you have good taste. So naturally, you already have it. It's so beautiful. We are at 35. Looking for 36. 35 looking for 36. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on this beautiful milk glass hobnail lidded dish. All right. Oh, we still got some coins. We still got some coins. Who got it? Congratulations goes to Elizabeth Holiday with her bid of 36. Thank y'all so much. Okay. All right, we're going to bump up our coin game here. I have four, four of this next coin. And they're going to be $32 each. $32 each. The years range from 1908, 1908 to 1911. $35 each. Only four people can win this one, so get ready. Looking for the word barber, as in barber half. Looking for the word barber. Looking for the word barber. Type in that word, Sam. Looking for the word barber. There we go. Four available. Sam has already claimed his. He gets the 1908. Thank you so much. They are $35 each. $35 each. Anybody else? Looking for the word barber. $35 each. Looking for the word barber, as in a barber half. Looking for the word barber. Okay. And then our last item before we start the recap. 80 people here. Beautiful. That's wonderful when your number goes up for the recap. All right. This is a 1920. Good night, Michael. You have a wonderful Easter. Thank you so much. We have a 1920D, a 1920D as in dog, that is significant. Liberty half. 
This coin is $60. I have one. $60. If there is any interest, comment Liberty. Comment Liberty. Looking for the word Liberty and you can get the $60 coin of the night. 1920 D as in dog. Liberty. Looking for the word Liberty. Liberty. Is everybody singing Liberty? Liberty? Liberty. $60 for this Liberty half. $60 for the Liberty half. All right, everybody. Are we ready? Shake it off. Get ready. Get loose. Have a drink. And let's sell the rest of these items. Here we go. Great stuff. Absolutely no reason it should have been passed up the first time. Here we go. Beautiful. The oldest piece of glass I believe I had tonight pink satin little bud vase oh my goodness how precious would a single flower be in this absolutely stunning no chips or cracks 29 dollars start 29 dollars start for this beautiful pink satin antique vase 29 dollars start approximately six inches tall $29 start, I promise you. This is cheap. Victorian. Victorian satin. It just, it just has that look. You know how old it is. Good night, Ellen. Thank you so much and happy Easter. Thank you, Brenda, for your bid of 29. It is pink. It is pink, everyone. It's not red. It's not orange. It is a beautiful satin pink in the diamond optic pattern. Just look how old it looks. So, so pretty. Let's count it down. Thank you, Brenda, for that bid of 29. It is a high quality piece. I can do that. Very high quality piece. Here we go. 29 looking for 30 or better. I saw similar. They were asking three digits. Here we go. Let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Let me show Rach real quick. Look at what Sam scored. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful teal ram's head vase. He did good, didn't he? He did good. Let's see. Did she do it? Brenda, thank you so much. You have exquisite taste. Thank you. Thank you. Brenda got it for a steal. All right. Let's keep it up. Moonstone, gorgeous, ruffle dish, $29 start, beautiful, ruffly, ring of fire, looks so pretty when you hold it up to the light. You are so welcome. Thank you. He did do good. Daniel is at 35, looking for 36. I just want somebody to put Easter grass and candy in this. It's so pretty. So beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We are at 35 with Daniel looking for 36. No chips or cracks. She is beautiful. 35 looking for 36. Let's do the countdown. Gorgeous hobnail opalescent. All of the adjectives. We're at 35, looking for 36. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. 
Thank you so much, Sam. Looking for the bid end. All right, let's try the kitty cats. Let's try the kitty cats one more time. Please be aware that this is, oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Congratulations goes to Anne with her bid of 38. Thank you so much. Tonight's price. Please don't message me after. I mean, I want you to message me, but if you want it for this price, it's going to be tonight and tonight only. Okay. Here we go. The kitty cats. The mid-century metal kitty cats. The Sexton, S-E-X-T-O-N, wall art requires a 145 start. I'm sure you all have done your homework by now. 145 start, they are sold as is. They do have some flaking in the paint. They are sold like that all the time and it did not affect the value. You could, if you really wanted to, I think they would be awesome painted in a, a satin black. You could refresh that gold around their neck or whatever your signature color is. So one more time tonight, 145, you are getting all three. That's like the price of the largest one for all three. We're going to try one more time. 145 they will be higher I'm, they will be higher after tonight so if you are interested in these little beauties here we go 145 good night thank you so much good night daniel 145 for the metal mid-century wall art they are marked usa God bless America. 145 as is. It is a good deal, folks. 145. I'm putting the kitty cats down. Last chance tonight. 145. And I would be hesitant to let them go then, okay? 145 for the kitties. All right. Let's see. Did we? We didn't sell this, did we? Good night, Kim, and happy Easter to you. Thank you so much for the Lunga Burger Basket. $15 start, just a $15 start. It is signed from 1998. It even has its original plastic liner in it. Instant Easter Basket. Take, take some little goodies over to whoever's hosting Easter in your vintage Lunga Burger Basket. $15 start, $15 start and go. Thank you, Sherry, for your bid of 15, looking for 16. It is signed, it is marked on the bottom. 15 looking for 16, let's do that countdown. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on, on the vintage Lunga Burger basket. Yeah, that's just a word you got to say really quick. Lunga Burger. Lunga, Lunga. However, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Congratulations, Sherry. Thank you so much. How on earth do we have these little puppy dogs? Oh, oh well, you'll just have to look at them in my hand. Six dollars start. Six dollars start. Thank you so much, Sherry. Six dollars start for the little Cocker Spaniel two puppy dog set. Probably Bone China. Six dollars start. How sweet. Six dollar, whether you you have a cocker spaniel or you know somebody that does, or just a cute vintage figurine for your shadow box. Six dollar start. Is that the rain? 
think I can hear the rain. Six dollars start on the puppy dogs. Well, hello, Stephanie. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your bid of six. Looking for seven. Let's count them down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end on the little vintage pups. Looking for the bid end. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope y'all didn't hear that. Looking for the bid end. You do. Well, perfect. They are yours, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Piece of Weller, folks, in the recap round. That is absurd. $26 start. It is marked Weller on the bottom. We have one little area right here on that foot. It does not affect the profile of the piece at all. Beautiful piece. Thank you, Anita, for your bid of 26. Looking for 27. Yay for Stephanie. Good to have you back, girl. 26 looking for 27 on a piece of Weller pottery. 26 looking for 27. 26 looking for 27. Now, when y'all are having your Easter celebrations, and the people see your beautiful glassware, your beautiful vases. You just say, oh, that came from the VP collection, okay? Tell your families what a good time y'all have on Wednesday night. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one looking for the bid end on the pink, like mid-century pink Weller vase. It's a vase when it's nice. That's right. Okay. Here we go. Congratulations goes to Anita Lassiter with her bid of 29. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate you too. All right, folks. This is for my rusty, crusty farmhouse. Uh, just that rich texture that you need in your home. I have this 40 pound scale. It's just the top. It seems to be freely moving. I just see it propped up on a shelf, just providing that metal texture to your display. $29 start. $29 start. You can hang it. Yes, you could. You could still hang something from it. Wonderful old scale. All the vintage character we know and love. $29 start for the vintage scale. Vintage 40 pound scale. I just think it kind of kind of looks like a clock face. And you know how we love to incorporate our clocks with books and cameras and things in our vintage vintage decor. Looking for a $29 start on the vintage scale. On the vintage scale. $29 start. $29 start. All right. So we're going to put this to the side. This will be the price tonight. I'm telling you, when I put a bucket with it, it's going to be $125. So $29 start for the scale uh, dial itself. Okay, moving on to these vintage ladies. They are sold as is. We have vintage pinups. Vintage pinups. Miss St. Patrick, leprechaun lady. There she is. Or Miss Daffodil. Check out Miss Daffodil. They were from True Magazine. They come with character. $10 and go. Looking for a $10 start. $10 start for choice. 
We do have some deterioration to the tops of each page, but they are well worth saving. $10 start and go for Miss Daffodil or Miss St. Patrick. $10 start and go for the True Magazine pinups. True Magazine pinups. True Magazine pinups. Okay. Mickey Mouse. We still have our Mickey Mouse phone. Again, this phone somewhat works, but does not dial the number you dial. <laughs> it's from 1976. How often would we use this phone? We just look at it for enjoyment, don't we? Such beautiful colors. Well, you just hooked me up with Vintage Vinny because he needs those pinups. Here we have Mickey Mouse looking for a $32 start. Again, the phone, it's more for display. It's from 1976, looking for a $32 start. $32 start for the push button Mickey Mouse display. Whoop. Push button Mickey Mouse. He is in overall good condition. A little slight discoloration to his hand, which normally that hand is always a little bit darker in color. Thank you, Brooke, for your bid of 32. Brooke's going to have a fun game. She's going to dial and see whoever it is. <laughs> I, I tried to call home and Barbara answered. <laughs> so it's going to be a fun display. Thank you, Brooke, for your bid of 32. Looking for 33. 32 looking for 33. Here we go for Mickey Mouse 1976. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on M I C K E Y. Right? I knew they'd still love you. Let's see here. Put these right here. You did it, Brooke. Thank you so much, girl. He is awesome. All right, the last non-coin item of the recap is this wonderful vintage photograph album. It has blank pages in it. The front of the green book does have a couple of creases, but it doesn't appear to have ever been used. I am putting it together with local pictures from Wakefield. I do not know the people. I do not know any names, but I do know it was a Wakefield um, estate. $24 start. And you're getting some wonderful pictures. Whether you know them or not, instant ancestors. They would be beautiful to pop in a flower frog. Just admire them for who they were. Great little pictures. It's fun to look at the toys, the animals, the cars, the furniture. $24 start on your instant relatives. $24 start. I'm loving his little pose and that chair the chair he's sitting in. And then look at the vehicle, $24 start. Tw oh, look at in the wagon. Maybe it's just the photographer in me that appreciates this. I just think they're fascinating. Fascinating pictures. Look at the little boy 
with his baseball bat and his mitt. Look at that little wheelbarrow on the steps. Great, great pictures here, folks. All right. $24. Thank you, Booney. Thank you for loving this family and giving them the respect that they deserve. 24 looking for 25. 24 looking for 25. Let's count them down. Look at the old buggy. Little baby buggy. Can't you almost feel that picture? Like it's a hot summer day. You could hear the bugs and the <laughs> just feel the heat on your face. It's so funny how everybody, everybody took pictures like this. They all went and stood at the corner of the house, kind of at the chimney. I know my grandma had a lot of pictures like that. All right, let's count these babies down. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. The album comes with it. Five. Four. Three. Two and one looking for the bid end on the vintage photograph lot with album. Vintage photograph lot with album. Did Booney do it? She did. Thank you so much, Booney. Thank you. All right, beautiful pins. Beautiful wear on your Easter bonnet with all the things upon it. $20 start for these vintage floral brooches. This one is so thin. It's like a thin plastic. Beautiful. You are so welcome. Thank you, Booney. Looking for $20 start on choice. Oh, we have this wonderful three-dimensional little flower uh, brooch. So pretty. They, let's see, has a silver, are you silver or gold? It's kind of one of those cases where it depends on the lighting. On the backside, $20 for a vintage brooch. You know people are going to ask when you have this on, on Sunday. $20 start, $20 start and go. This is for choice of a vintage brooch. $20 start. All right. Other than, did anybody want any more coins tonight? We have two Washington quarters left. They are $8 a piece. Two Washington quarters for $8 a piece. The years are 56 and 63. If there is any interest, if you want another one, let me know. And these two actually have a superior grading on them. So $8, $8. If you want a Washington quarter, let me know. Just type in quarter. Okay, $8 if you want a quarter. All right, if you want a barber half, if you want a barber half for $35, let me know. Type in barber. Barber half for $35. Just let me know. All right, we're going to rewind to the quarters. Stephanie, thank you so much. Stephanie is going to take the 56. Thank you. All right. Any more interest in the barber? If so, just type in barber and you can get one for $35. $35. Okay, we have Barbara Dimes. Barbara Dimes for $10. 
Anybody want a Barbara dime for $10? Type in dime, D-I-M-E. Type in dime if you would like a Barber dime. Looking for the word dime. Looking for the word dime. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have the 1920D Liberty Half. Well, hello, Vintage Vinny. Are you interested in vintage pinups? Right now, they are just $10 each. I will share them in just a moment. Good night, Teresa. Thank you so much. So this Liberty Half is available for $60. For $60. One more time tonight. We have some vintage True Magazine pinups. I'm calling her Miss St. Patrick. There she is, or Miss Daffodil. Now, please know that there is some deterioration to the tops of both pages. I still think they are well worth preserving. Now, also, the backs of both um, center folds, they do have rich colored imagery on the back. Some of that has faded to the front. But other than that, for a $10 start, they are available from True Magazine. $10 each. True Magazine. All right, folks. Let's see what time is it. 10 o'clock. All right, we did good. I cannot thank y'all enough for being here with me tonight. If it was your first time, please don't forget to message me at jcphoto at charter.net with your email address so I can send your PayPal invoice. All PayPal invoices go out by Friday night. The storefront will be open this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So please come, please come and get your goods. Thank you, Benny. Thank you for coming, and I hope you come back. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget, get your stuff. Come get your orders. I am still overflowing with your orders, and we can't wait to see you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend with your family and friends. Have a very happy Easter. Thank you, Angie. I will see you. Good night, Diane. Thank you so much. Good night, Booney. Good night, Anita and my Cassandra. Thank you so much. Okay, we're here every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to do what I love and how I love to do it. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend.